Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another casted edition of Zen's POV. My name is Whoops You, and thanks to the community feedback, we're going to continue this series. Thank you guys very much for watching that first video. If you guys haven't, please check it out. Game number one officially on our hands Atachi and Exotic on the blue team. And we and Zen start off with a goal here in this game number one. We, by the way, is going to be Monkey Moon from Team BDS. So Monkey Moon and Zen on the orange team starting things off with a goal. And Exotic and Itachi on the blue team. So you could say that Zen and Monkey Moon kind of have, you know, I was going to say a dynamic duel on their hands. And as you guys can see why, the first opening goal for the blue team, Itachi and Exotic, are going to be scored to equalize this one. But Monkey Moon gets demoed off the back end. Zen got left in the 2v1 situation. Little to no boost and pretty much exotic. Just slow played that one and fired her knuckler of a shot right back towards the net for the equalizer. So find ourselves with a 1-1 ball game. And quickly, exotic and Itachi gather the pressure right back in the face of Zen and Monkey Moon. They have to play this one very, very close. Exotic, good pinch, but not going to find its mark. Going to bounce off to the left side. Itachi trying to test his luck. Great defense from Zen off the backboard. Here comes Exotic now. He's going to fire a shot. This one might leave some space for Zen to work with. That's a soft touch over Itachi. Let's give that one over to the corner. But Zen, Monkey Moon, Exotic, Itachi. You're going to see all these guys in Copenhagen. Good air dribble bump from Zen. Not going to find what he's looking for, though. Find all these guys over in Copenhagen, Team BDS, Gentle Maids, Vitality. Regardless of who it is, you're going to see them competing this week for Copenhagen. Good takeaway right here from Zen over to the corner. Three minutes and 20 seconds left. And a good pass as well. Monkey Moon went up against Exotic right there. Can't come up with the secondary touch to push that one in. Tachi on the flip side, though. Good flick. Doesn't find his mark in the upper 90 position. Zen, smart defense. That second touch, though, troublesome. He does keep that one away. Good wall dash to catch up to this ball. And also a great clear off the ceiling. This is trouble for Itachi. This is a good shot from Zen as well, but it turns into a pass instead. And Monkey Moon going to go ahead and push that one in to secure the second goal here for the Orange team. Just a great job right there from Zen to keep the pressure on the backs of the defense. Itachi had nothing to do but a pre-jump, and Zen pretty much just beat him and got that ball around. Good shot. From Itachi, speaking of which, he pokes this one. Zen pops it away. Itachi, now a pass to Exotic, and that one's taken away by Zen. He has daylight. Zen just had to score it. One of the hardest shots in Rocket League, an open net, and he drills it dead center. Huge third goal right there for the Orange team. The pressure was on. A great read from Zen to take the opportunity away. And then on top of that, come out on the other side of the goal. Monkey Moon went for an air dribble. Also went for, it looked like an upside down uh, flip reset or something towards the tail end of that play. But I think I get the read. Speaking of which, Atachi, oh my. A huge bump from Exotic. Bumps Zen that had no boost. And that just opens up the door right there for a 1v1 Itachi versus Monkey Moon. And Itachi drilled that one and extended his flip towards the tail end of that play. So only up by one now is Zen and Monkey Moon. Zen going right back to work though. 1v2 situation trying to maybe go, I was going to say for a bump play, but makes Exotic go vertical. Puts him in an awkward situation. Speaking of which, 18 boost. Trying to get by Itachi. So difficult to do, but they do get this clear. Exotic now. 
Great defense from Zen going off the ceiling, not going to use his flip. Soft touch right back towards mid. Double in the future for Itachi. The poke away from Monkey Moon. Great save right there from Monkey Moon. Zen does get demoed. A shot on from Monkey Moon. Exotic does save it. Here comes Itachi. Right back towards midfield. Exotic versus Zen up in the air. Exotic wins this exchange. Monkey Moon playing very patient. They know the clock is working for them. Right back towards midfield. 45 boost in the dream. A good pass off the back wall. Itachi, though, takes the opportunity away from Monkey Moon. Like I said before, not trying to play too aggressive in this situation. You're already up by one. This is a good situation, though, for Zen. Off the sidewall. 1v2 situation. Itachi with the interception. And that's just so unfortunate as it falls in for the equalizer. And how quickly things have changed. 14 seconds left here in this first game. The pressure is definitely on. Final 10 seconds. No boost for Zen. Still great defense. The demolition coming out for Itachi as well. Monkey Moon spawns right back in. Gets his hand up. Zen. Soft touch over to the corner. Itachi. Keeps it up. Zen, 100 boost. He has some daylight. Zen, one touch. The backwards flick. Zen drills it. Zero seconds. And he does it in regulation. And he does it again. Let's hop into game number two now. Redosin and Fairy Peak versus Grandma and Zen. Zen going to be on the orange team this time. Fairy Peak, Radosin on the blue team. And for those of you who don't know, Radosin with a little flick. Nice save right there from Zen and from Grandma. But Fairy Peak, the team Vitality coach, looking for a double. Can't find it. What a save from Zen. The putback from Radosin was there. But Zen is doing the best that he possibly can to try to guess as to where that shot was going to be from Radosin. And he absolutely guessed correctly. And look at the pressure being applied right from a Redosin off the rip here for Zen. Officially a minute. I was going to say close to a minute off the clock. Great pass. Zen with a gather. Air dribble. It's the flip off the ceiling. And you know Redosin and Fairy Peak not going to let that fly. You can't allow Zen that much space in the air. So you have to kind of go to the point of attack in that situation. And they did just that. But Redosin, oh my goodness, Jukes one, Jukes two. And he gets the opening goal here for the blue team. Great job right there from Redosin to pretty much win that exchange, that 2v1. Jukes by Zen. And then Grandma was the last person back. And basically, it's making it look easy when it really wasn't. Demolition onto Zen as well. That was Redosin, I believe. Fairy Peak with the bump as well. Redosin, flip reset. Zen, good takeaway. This is trouble, though, for Grandma. I believe Redosin stopped right in front of him and maybe had a Goomba stomp onto Grandma, but two goals now in favor of Fairy Peak and Redosin. And for those of you asking, who's Grandma? Well, I'll tell you a little bit about him. Pretty much made it to day three in EU. Played for Team Hoski in the last split. And uh, wow, speaking of which, Zen, ground to air dribble, flip reset, and then the second touch to push it past Redosin and Fairy Peak. 2v1 exchange. And Zen comes out on top of that one. But Grandma made it to day three for EU, played for Team Hoski. Two very, very close matches that they actually were winning and they actually got reverse swept. So unfortunate. But back to work. Zen! Nice musty flick. Grandma, a little bit of a fake, a good bump from Zen as well onto Fairy Peak. Zen has to be careful. Low boost. Ooh, the jukes! Zen pulled out some messy plays. Watch him. He fakes left, fakes right. 
And Verdosen was stuck in no man's land in the middle of the net, reversing and accelerating forward. We have ourselves a tie ball game. How quickly the turns have tabled in favor of Zen and Grandma. Speaking of which, Grandma fires a shot. That one's too high off the backboard. Great pass from Zen. The demolition on the back end as well. Fairy Peak now left in the 1v2. Redosin spawns back in. Redosin trying to guess where he was going. Fairy Peak was on Zen as well. Zen was trying to get by him. Maybe going for a doomsday dish. Going for the goal himself. Never mind. Zen again. Redosin put the pressure on the backboard. Fairy Peak trying to get the save. And Zen just making his presence known out here. Makes the defense make a huge mistake. And they take the lead. Grandma fires a shot as well. It's going to fall off to the right hand side. Good save from Fairy Peak. Redosin still keeping up with Zen on the left side. Grandma does get a save, but regardless, some high velocity gameplay coming out right now. Zen going for the Cuxier pinch. Radosin says no. Minute and 30 seconds left. I do like that play right there from Grandma. He does make Radosin get up early. Zen with a stall. What a play. Pushes it off the backboard. This one could find its mark. There it is. A good shot. A good pass as well from Grandma and Fairy Peak. The last person back can't get the save. Up by two. A four goal swing in favor of Zen and Grandma. Almost 60 seconds left. Very peak off the sidewall. Redosin with the cross. Here comes Grandma with the air dribble. Back from their side. Good flip reset. Redosin does save the first initial shot away and the second from Zen. Grandma off the backboard. Very peak. They try to test his luck. Good pop. Zen, low boost. Has to get this 100 in the corner. He does sneak it by Redosin. 1v1. Fairy Peak wins that one. Zen now. Great half flip backwards. Fairy Peak was trying to go for the bump. A big time takeaway. That's going to be game number two. Let's hop into game number three. Radosin and Zen on the blue team. And we have WZQ and AS Killer on the orange team. Radosin. From the left. Oh, he's going to fire that one in. And the opening goal is going to be in favor of Zen, courtesy of Radosin. WZQ. Going to try to test his luck off the backboard. That one falls. He did have the double. Radosin trying to put the pressure right back on. Couldn't really find too much information about these two, but I believe they're two Middle East players. Good pass from a dose and off the backboard. And everybody knows you can't sleep on those Middle East players. WZQ, though, he was in trouble. AES, he does come through and he does take that shot from Zen away. Redosin. He's trying to keep the pressure on. Zen does do just that. Secondary touch. Not there. The middle boost not there as well. Redosin, though. In a 1v2. WZQ with a fake. Zen not falling for it. Open net temporarily, but just playing this one casually. Just playing it slow. Only up by one. Not trying to be too aggressive. Another 1v1 situation. Redosin's going to lose that exchange. Half flip from Zen. A pass over. One. And we get the second touch. Maybe a pass back to Redosin. Redosin. Maybe gave the green light to Zen. Zen still has a second touch. The double. Not going to find a home. Some solid defense being played right now. 
or May Yaz and WZQ. Bump off for Dosen. And good awareness from Zen right there. He didn't want to over pursue, didn't want to jump on the ball. Like I said, just being very patient. Not taking too many risks and you don't have to. You don't have to take all these risks in Rocket League. A lot of players think that because you're playing at such a high level that you have to. It's, it's about being a smart player. Speaking of which, the smart play coming out. Flip reset the bump from Radosin in the net as well. Watch it back. Trying to go for a squishy save. Was WZQ, I believe it was. But could not come up with it. Radosin was just hounding him in the net. Chasing them around. And that left the opportunity open for Zen. Speaking of opportunities, Radosin flip reset. One end of the field to the other one. Demolition from Zen. This was off the ceiling. WZQ. He's trying to pass that one maybe to his teammate, but Zen, smart demolition. The overtake from Radosin as well. You see the communications very strong. From Radosin and Zen. I like when you see that overtake just pretty much in sync with one another. Demolition coming out from Ayaz. 2 to 0 still. Minute 57 seconds. Second touch. Zen trying to go for a double. WZQ covers this one up. Radosin now open nets. Can he get the second? He does get the air dribble, but the hustle back. From WZQ, a great job. 1v1 now, shadow defense being played from Radosin. No second touch from WZQ. Radosin just gonna pop that one. Right dead center for the third goal. And a double fake coming out from Ayaz and from Zen. Gonna leave an air dribble. Verdosa off the backboard. And wait, wait a minute. This is an old goal. Zen gets one touch. The save comes out from, I believe, WZQ. And then Ayaz just accidentally ongles it. We'll, we'll, we'll take those. Four to zero. Zen hunting for the fifth. Minute and 15 now. Radosin, he did have a second touch. Zen, just a soft lob right to the right-hand side. Right out the reach of the defense as well. No boost goal for Zen. And that's the fifth one. Almost 60 seconds left. And this one's pretty much all said and done. WZQ and Ayaz. They're trying to at least score one for some sportsmanship. We're going to see Zen and Radosa, and they're going to not let that happen, I think. We're just having some fun out here. Ayaz, soft touch to the right side. Radosin to the left. He does beat both. Can't get the second touch. Zen maybe going for a double. Does slow that one down tremendously. Slow his car down tremendously. Ayaz. Pre-jump from Zen. Once again, trying to hunt for this goal. And Zen and Radosin just kind of playing keep away. The pass off, though. This one has potential. Zen did get the flip. He was trying to maybe hit that one back. Some sort of extended doomsy dish. WZQ, final second, sticking away. Fires another shot. Right side, maybe trying to put that one back door. Doesn't find its mark. All zeros on the clock, and that's going to do it here. Five to zero in favor of Zen and Radosin. Going to be hopping into game number four, and this is going to be Batira and Zen on the blue team. Fairy Peak and Renzo on the orange team. Renzo, certain things off of the air dribble. You might be asking yourself, Who's Fairy Peak? No, I'm just joking. You might be asking yourself, who is Renzo? And for some of you who do know him, you're fortunate enough to know how skilled he is. I believe he was ranked in the top 50 
in the 1v1s uh, world in the world a couple months ago. Top 100 in ones, over 2K MMR and duos as well. So he is definitely here. Has a little bit of luck as well in the RLCS scene. It hasn't found his place just yet. But for those of you wondering who Fairy Peak is, you know who Fairy Peak is. The coach for Vitality, the five-time European champion, the season seven RLCS world champion. You gotta love him. You love to see him out here as well. Still keeping up with the young one, the prodigy, Zen. So hopping back into the action, See Renzo is taking on Batira. Good job so far. Both ways. For Zen, Batira, and Renzo and Fairy Peak. Some solid defense being played. Double commitment, though, from the Orange team. Zen, little boost. Makes Fairy Peak guess high. Batira can't secure that goal to the left hand side. Renzo. Oh, with a shot! And the flick is going to find its mark. Zen gave a little bit too much space right there. At the same time, Vatira had the middle of the field covered. So that's why the space was allowed. But regardless of the fact, Vatira did get a hand on it, but can't quite keep it out. Zen keeps this shot out. Great pass from Fairy Peak, but Renzo's goal is going to be saved. Zen on the flip side, trying to go for a flip reset, does get it. Vatira. Fires this shot. Maybe Zen was going to put it in, but great defense once again from Fairy Peak. Now Zen's going to take this one from coast to coast, essentially, like threatening the flip reset. Trying to get the second touch to find its mark as well. Oh, the one two pass! What a play from Zen and Batira. Batira just waiting. Zen saw him there. And a great pass. Catches the defense off guard. Maybe this one as well. The secondary touch. Fairy Peak does keep it out, but Batira. He nails it. 2 0 run in favor of Batira and Zen. Two minutes and 15 seconds left, though. Renzo is trying to threaten a shot. Pass off over to Fairy Peak. Zen from his corner. I just like the, the awkward approaches that Zen just takes. He takes so many chances, but at the same time, he doesn't go for just the traditional route of attack. And that's what you love to see. He just has so much control, so much poise. Always keeps the defense on their toes. Minute and 40 now. Back to the blue half we go. Renzo, control of his own. Speaking of which, Zen takes off. He takes flight off the ceiling. Maybe a double. Fairy Peak denies him. Now Zen has to hustle back. And it's not going to be in time. Unfortunate situation right there. But Renzo's going to score the second goal for the orange team. And score the equalizer as well the minute and 22 seconds left if you think about it zen had that double lined up it was just a great save from fairy peak and on top of that the tier was trying to go for the putback and couldn't find it either so the hustle back from fairy peak and just kind of kept zen on his toes and that just opened up for a great shot from renzo 55 seconds left Renzo to the right side. Vatira, great takeaway. Fairy Peak. Not sure if that was a fake, but we're going to call it one. Vatira, 1v1 versus Fairy Peak. Zen up in the air. That one's going to ricochet off to the ceiling. Renzo, he has some space. Renzo going for the bump. Vatira, a huge beat. Good job from Zen. He was going to go for a squishy save, but he. Quickly goes right back down. Fairy Peak was waiting for it. Off the backboard. Renzo over to Vatira. Vatira, good pass upfield. Fairy Peak intercepted it. 
Zen being very patient once again. Fairy Peak was waiting for the challenge off the backboard, but not going to come. Final second sticking away, Vatira. A slow pass. That one not going to find its way in either. And we find ourselves in overtime. Comment down below who do you guys think is going to win this matchup? Vatira and Zen in blue. Renzo and Fairy Peak in orange. Zen threatening the first shot. Good 50 50. That one's going to be popped away. Zen gets a demolition onto Fairy Peak. Vatira in a 1v1 versus Renzo. Zen just kind of tosses that one away to try to reset this offense. Puts the pressure right back on. Renzo, he fires a shot. Vatira, he's in trouble. Vatira, monster save. And the break from Zen. Vatira's going to force this one with a flip reset. Fairy Peak into a save. Zen from the sidewall. Nice soft touch. And the back shot on the post. That's going to do it. Zen and Vatira pull this one off. I appreciate you guys so very, very much for sticking through this video. Comment down below what your favorite shot was in this video. And until next time, my name has been Whoops You. We'll see ya in the next video.